hi everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i will show you how to create a scrollable navigation sidebar that affects the scroll position of elements within the screen using framer if you are looking to take your web design skills to the next level this tutorial is definitely for you so let's begin so um first thing first i have to prepare my file by setting the background color then I've already preset all the color styles already. Okay, because I wanted it to be a fast tutorial. So next thing is I'm already um, creating two frames. Then I'm naming them uh, one for aside and one for me. So the essence of the aside is so that um, I can put that's where I'm going to have to put my sidebar. And then I have my me, which is where I'm going to put the remaining content now make sure that uh, the aside is directly under the desktop um, container because that's when the can only be set or fixed okay so then here I'm just trying to like set the maximum width so that no matter the kind of viewport size I have is going to uh, remain fixed to that particular position so next up notice that immediately I set it to fixed the main covers the entire um desktop site so what i want to add next time is to um set on that container where all um the content i'm going to be using the website is going to live on so i'm just going to set the padding to 256 i'm selecting the main to 256 so is that so let me go to 256 so is what i'm saying so you can see that and the next frame inside is just so 256 that is taking the exact same width as the aside so what that does me to do now is that i can now um, put whatever i want to put inside the next frame so the only um, adjustment i just need to do is set my distribute to start and align to the top okay so um this is the content here let me just try and copy that then i'll paste it in all right so i want to copy um introduction first and paste that in okay then i'm going to rename it as article so I can just tell the difference. Then I also want to set the layout. So every last thing I'm just going to copy and paste right in. So notice how everything is set to another horizontal view. So I just need to change the direction and everything is that is supposed to. So next thing is for me to just fit in the content, but see I see it to be cut up so i have to select the main to also set it to fit content now i just need to take out the background and also select the article and take out the background as well okay so i'm definitely looking like it's coming together already so next thing i just want to set um a padding top for my article then now to the outside i'm going to copy the cycles um look in the description you see the link to how i was able to set up these icons properly in framer so uh so i'm just going to link the instance so if you see the um, next video you can see how i was able to set up all of these icons in such a way that I'm able to use it as a single component. So next up, I'm going to start setting up uh, the link there. Okay, and then I'm going to select the tool, and then I'm just going to press um, Command Shift Enter or Control Shift Enter here using the Windows. Then that gives me a column. Then I'm just going to set my padding to 12 top, 16 right, left, also right, 16 pixels as well as the bottom trough so once i'm comfortable with that i can just press command k it shows me all the shortcuts 
and then I can put in the name I want. So here should have actually been now blink. So now that I have this set, so next one is to start renaming the item. I'm gonna name that to inactive and I'm going to have an active state. Okay, so next one, I'm just gonna take a minute background. Then I'm going to set my active to few. Like I said, I preset the color before. So I'm uh, taking the background. Then I'm just going to add a primary color fill and for the icon for the text again. I'm just going to set a foreground color like so. Then now select the tag container again now. But this is why I also want the shadow element to set the opacity to 0.5. Not that I affect the other ones, I need to adjust it appropriately. Then now I need to set a variant, I call it active icon. I need to call it active icon and then set it to active. So if you see the other video, you see the way I was able to set a retainer. I did like a simple flag. By flag, what I mean like, I did like a active, like dash dash active in front of every not And then for this one, it's also inactive. So I'm going to go back home. But before that, I'm going to set an overstate. And here now, I'm going to select um, a few. I'm going to use my accent 10. And I want to drop my opacity to 0.5. Now I'll set that to 1. And change also this one to 1. Like so. So I'll go back to home now and I can select this then I'll just start to duplicate everything. Then I'm going to select everything and I'm going to convert it to a stack. I'll click on start and I'm going to change my cap to zero because I don't need it. I'm going to hide from the color Then I just want to set a fit content. Then I want to change the distribution to start and version to align. So now notice that in my variant I have inactive and then I am already preset the content to title and now I'm just renaming it to introduction and then I'm going to rename the other title to beliefs and uh, my beliefs. I'm going to change the next one to skills and I'm going to change the next one to tools. So next up to just set it to start and the reason i'm doing like that is so that all of this can be a left properly is centered so what i want to now do is i want to be setting everything you can see the little flag uh, that's that active i talked about earlier i'm just going to add that yeah you're able to see it here until you go to um the preview screen so the chosen is just to add i'll make sure that all of this is set up for each of them so i'm going to set choose The one more thing, I need to adjust this a little bit. Just push that to the top, then I'll go back so everything looks correct now. So, I'm very anti to inactive active icon. Okay, so I noticed that um, my tools is wrong, so I'm going to change that to the basic one. So, now that is said, so I'm just going to paste it into this side. So, that is already set to the side is already set to stack, so I'm just going to change it to stack left align then i'm going to fill up the container like so then i just want to do a padding of 40 that's a little bit too much so let me just reduce it to 8 and 8 on both sides okay so leaving the top and bottom at 40 then afterwards i need to connect um the introduction and all of that but for that i need to set everything to fill so I've passed it everything to fill container. I need to be able to um connect introduction to the introduction that you can see on the screen. I do that by click on scroll variant and I can switch to a section in view. 
so i'm going to select introduction and i'm going to switch to active okay so for um, then the one more thing i need to add one more so that i can remove this state so i need to remove that to that so then when i go to the next section i want to be able to remove this state i'm going to go to my belief i put this around the same tape i'm just going to switch to my belief and switch it to active and i'm going to say that when i'm in my skills place i'm in what native and i'm going to go to the next one and do the same tape Now I'm in the tools, so I'm going to add the tools part. So I'll still set back to again section in view, set it to a tools and active. So I don't need to send this all down because everything that is physical of the world is very nearly on it. So I just want to show you that I'm actually giving them um, the each section, their section name. So you can see, like if you can see the select screw section, you just need to add the section and make sure you send the offset easy to know work well in terms of like the padding so notice that when i scroll is no scrolling through all the way so i need to fix that so by checking everything i need to first adjust the gap then select the overall container which is desktop view and i need to set that to fit content that way now i can scroll properly so can see as i'm scrolling i believe it's changing but notice there's an issue with the link is a little bit greater so we can fix that very easily so we'll go back to this place and change the opacity to one like so and we are going to switch the color path again to, to look at it then there's one more thing i need to add a link to it so by clicking on that link now uh, okay I can now set up each link for each section. So I'm going to select home and then choose my section. So I'm going to select the second item and do the same. And home, select the section, my belief. I'm going to select the next section and set this, set down or then now my skills. And then the next one, I'm going to select the key and then select home, then tools. So once I'm comfortable with that now, I see that as I click, it's switching over. So this is the first part of the tutorial. Now to go to the next part is time to make it um responsive. Okay. So I'm just gonna click on tablet. Then for my tablet now, all I just need to do is adjust this panel. So I'm just gonna set the width to 220, and then I'm also going to set and the maximum with to 220 okay now notice that all of this thing is um, filling up the space so i don't want that so what i'm going to do is that out of the box i'm just going to set the maximum width to um, the um, basic width to fill and the maximum width to 650 and i've already done that for others so what that does is that it automatically takes up the entire space and doesn't go beyond 650 pixels so now we have to reduce uh, my main again to 220 then i can go back to my article and then add a basic padding of 32 pixels on both sides okay now that is it next up is to work on the phone so um next i all i just need to adjust my maximum width to 64 pixels like so then I need to adjust the spacing to 64 then i just need to reduce this to 16 so that there's more room for the text to stay then when i preview it notice that everything is showing as it's supposed to okay but notice how it's jumping it's not smooth so i need the way to figure out how to make it smooth and the framework makes that very easy all you just need to select smooth Thanks for watching this tutorial on creating a scrollable navigation sidebar with Framer. I hope you found it helpful and learned something new today. Remember to subscribe to my channel for more great design tutorials and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below or chat with me directly. I'd love to hear 
for me and help you with any design challenges you are facing. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.